Hello, this is Jose. Here I am again with my 2017 Mercedes S550 or W222. Uh, today I'm here to talk about the start and stop button on your car. And uh, a lot of people, there's a lot of talk in, in, in online and there's people that's annoying because the, the car shuts off every time they come to a stop, either at a stop sign or they come to a traffic light. So um, a lot of people are shutting it off in different ways. So I feel the need to talk about this because somebody uh, wrote online on one of the chats that I have on Facebook that the, they shut off the oil pump for the transmission. So I don't think that is a good idea. I don't know where they came up with this idea, but uh, it might shut off the, the start and stop. I haven't tried that. Maybe it does, but uh shutting off a pump i don't think is a good idea an oil pump especially something that is moving your fluid throughout moving parts i really don't think is a good idea so uh the reason behind the stop and sh uh, stop and start button is of course emissions they say you save uh gas as well but uh, with a v8 engine i think that is a little bit of contradiction there um, you're not really thinking about saving money in gas. Uh, according to studies they, they run, they, you save about 4 to 7% and in gas if, uh, if you run in the car for or idle in the car for uh, more than 7 seconds. So with this car running in the middle of the summer especially, if you run in air conditioning, everything the car has, all these electronics and everything, so if you come to a stop, the car is going to restart itself again anyway because you need a lot of power to run this car. Now, it would stop and start when they came up with that is um, they, of course, they had that in mind and they upgraded to better batteries. They, they put better starters and, and everything else is better for your engine. So for the myths out there that, you know, people are saying that, yeah, your that battery is going to get damaged, it's not going to get damaged. For the engine that's going to get damaged, it's not going to get damaged. So they have all this into account, okay? And uh, also another myth that people has is that the, you use more gas when you start the car than have it idling. It, it's not true, it's simply not true. There's a studies for that as well. You can look into that, but starting the, the engine actually only uses a little bit of gas while you're idling, the car uses a lot more gas than, than, than just starting the car. So making the car start every time you stop is not gonna make you use more gas. It's really, um, all this came back and, and it's all done because of emissions, okay? So now the starter, it's a, it's a heavy duty starter. It's not the same starter used back in the day. This is a different starter. Uh, the alternator, same thing. They have different materials that are using for, for all these parts. And uh, the, the, especially with the starter, it's a heavy duty starter. They have different ways of working. It's not the same as before. And, um, and the fuel efficiency is totally different with these cars than the cars back in the day. Of course, before when you had a carburetor, you use much more gas pushing into the engine and you, were, you would push the gas and, and gas and gas and gas the car before you started. And, and you, of course, that was, every time you push the gas, you were throwing more and more fuel into the engine. That's not the case anymore. You have an injection, fuel injection system. So uh, it, all that is controlled. If the amount of fuel that goes into your cylinders is controlled. So all those myths, the myths about uh, using more gas or using less gas because of the system, the system is bad, the system is, it doesn't work. It's, it's all myths, okay? So you have to really go down. If you want the data, look for the data, but the system really works. Now, if it's annoying, it is, okay? So a lot of people want to know how to turn it off. And the only way to do it is with a scan, with scanner, okay? Do not unplug anything on your car. That is not the right way to do things. You can't unplug something in your car. If they put it in the car, it's for a reason. They plug something in the car, it's for a reason. Any piece of hardware, any uh, any plug in the car is there for a reason you can work with software you change the software you they, they have updates they have all kinds of things for your car with software but unplugging the pump especially is totally wrong i advise you not to do that do not unplug any pumps 
you want those fluids to continue going through the transmission, through the engine, if it's the case of an engine, but um, the only way to be able to get rid of that um, auto stop and start is with a scanner. Okay, now it's not any scanner. You can't, unfortunately, you can't do it with a, a small scanner where you, know, you just have access to show you the information in the car. It has to be a bi-directional scanner, but it also has to be something that is uh, uh, a scanner that is mostly used in the shop. Now I do have one of those scanners. I also have the smaller um, scanners that I've, I've showed you guys when I use it for my transmission because all I needed was information. I, like for the transmission, when I did transmission service, I only needed the temperature of the transmission so I could do the, I could check the level of my fluid. But, uh, and that was just a one directional uh, scanner, very, um, very reasonable price. It was like $30 on, on Amazon and you don't even need a scanner for that. You can just check the temperature on the transmission with a thermometer. But um, for these, you have to have a professional scanner. Now, uh, I will show you and I, and I actually already have it turned it off. I turned off, but you'll see how I did it. I'll go through the, through the process. Uh, if you happen to have a scanner like this one or if somebody you know has a scanner like this one, you can go ahead and go into your car and and not only for this car but you could do it in any car you could do you can turn that off in in any car okay so uh, i only turned it off for this car i was also i also wanted i also wanted to see the difference to see if i, I you know i noticed anything different but i, I haven't really noticed anything that four to seven percent is not something that you really notice by uh, just driving every day, uh, not even every day, because of this car, I drive probably once every two weeks or so. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, for you to notice the difference, you really have to, uh, just like the studies, you have to put gauges, you have to put uh, flow sensors and, and know how much are you really using to go through, through your system, okay? How much gas are you pulling from the tank and going through all the cylinders? So it, it's really major for you to be able to do that. but. Uh, just driving every day, you're not going to notice any difference. So um, I'll show you on my scanner. If you have any questions, you can tell me about. Please do not unplug anything on your car. There's all kinds of things that people are doing that uh, there's supposedly another, another piece of equipment in the car, in the engine that is, uh, is getting clogged. And as long as you unplug this sensor in the and the engine, everything is going to be okay. Now, do not unplug anything that has to do with your transmission or your engine. The engineers studied all these for years before they came out with these cars. And this, this is a 2017, is, is the latest one, the latest model, uh, and, and not the latest model, but the latest uh, year with this model. So uh, when they got to this point, every problem they had from 2000. I don't know, 13, 14, 15 was already uh, taken care of. So I'm not unplugging anything in my car. My car has been fine. I've had it for over two years. I have no problems with it. So um, I strongly advise not to unplug anything in your cars. So I'm just going to go in there, show you with the scanner, see what it looks like uh, when you're trying to turn it off. If you, if you uh, have one of these scanners handy or if somebody you know has it, if you're close by, let me know. If you want to come over, I'll help you uh, turn it off if it uh, bothers you that much that you don't want to have it anymore. Uh, I didn't think of it um, too much before and try to make this video about it. I just didn't think about it. I went and turned it off and that was it. But after reading that somebody is unplugging a pump, it really caught my attention. I said, I better make a video, hopefully, um, the people that see the video will, uh, before they, they go and shut everything off, like this guy with the pump, um, maybe I can help that way before they ruin their transmission or ruin the engine doing something else. So do not unplug anything that has to do with fluids, okay? So let's see, let's see how it works with the scanner and um, I'm sure you'll you'll be much happier this way, uh, at least I am. There's nothing unplugged, there's no check engine lights on my car, there's no problems. The car is running perfectly, the only difference is it doesn't shut off when I stop at a um, uh, stop sign or something like that. So, let's see. 
Okay, so here we are in the car. The ignition has to be on um, the second position, okay? So we're not gonna use the stop. Well, you, you could use the stop, but it's better to just use the key, go to the second position. Uh, so, and, this, and the, the scanner is gonna ask you to be on the on ignition on, okay? Without starting the car, you have to turn the key and set it to ignition on. And then while you're doing the process, it's also gonna tell you to go ignition off and then ignition on again. So once you're in, once you're in the system, and again, this is a, has to be a professional scanner. It can't just be any regular scanner, but you go into the special functions and it's gonna tell you right here, operating mode, start, stop. Okay, we confirm the VIN of the car, we confirm the, the model. And right now, like I said, I have mine already turned off, so mine is already showing off. But you will, what you would do is go in here and set it to on. And after you do on, you put on, you have to write that coding. So write coding and it'll accept it and it'll put it on. I already did that, so I don't have to do it. But uh, if you don't do that, like I didn't write it right now and I left it on, right? So if I get out of this menu and go back on, Confirm the bin, confirm the model, and you're gonna see that this is still saying off because I didn't write the coding, okay? So that is a very, very simple to do it. As long as you have the right tool, you will be able to do it. Now we're gonna go for a drive and see if it works or not. So you could really see what's happening and also uh, so we can talk about it a little bit. I'm going to start driving around now and we're going to see that the light on the auto start stop is uh, shut off. Okay. Then we can see that there is off. And it's going to shut off automatically after the car gets warm when the car would normally feel the need to do the to stop when you push the brakes. Like right now, let's see cars are operating temperature so I stop the car and the stop and start didn't go off okay so let's see I'm not able to click on it anymore or turn it on or off because the system was off okay so we can see that the car stays on okay guys so um, as you saw, it was easy, and you see how this uh, light turns off. It doesn't work anymore since we have the system shut off. But when you first turn on the car, you're going to see the light on. and um, But it doesn't mean anything because after a while, it's going to shut off itself. Uh, because when the computer realizes that that system is uh, turned off, uh, it's going to go away, and you won't be able to do anything with it. So... The car is nice and warm, it's at operating temperature, and that's why we don't see that light on, okay? And um, as I said, don't unplug anything. This is what you, the only thing to do with it. Do not unplug anything. Um, for the people that think that uh, the car is going to wear out, the engine is, the parts are going to wear out, the alternator, the battery, the starter. Well, the engine won't get damaged or wear out more than, than it usually does because the car is warm when it's shutting off. The only time the car or the, the time the car, the engine wears out the most is when you have a cold start, when you start it in the morning. So in the morning it's cold, then you start the car, then the oil has to get to, to the entire engine, okay? When you, when you go to a stop and the car uh, shuts off the car is already warm the oil is warm and the oil is on top of everything circulating through everything so you won't lose lubrication when the car stops for a few seconds or even up to a minute or even two minutes remember when you're draining or changing the oil that takes a long time to drain so you don't in, in a few seconds, that oil is not gonna drain down and, and it's not gonna do anything to your engine. So everything is being is lubricated. It won't make any damages. 
Now the alternator maybe has to work a little more often because the battery is being used when, when the car shuts off and maybe then charge the car, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big difference. Same thing with the battery, but the battery works that way. The battery gets drained and it gets charged. The battery gets drained, it gets charged. That's, that's how the, the charges work or, or, or the maintain, the battery maintainers. When you get a battery uh, maintainer, you connect it, and that is uh, that's what it, that piece is doing. It's draining your battery down, letting it da go down all the way, and charging it again. Okay, so it doesn't die. So the 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 battery is charging, discharging, charging, discharging. And that's that's good for the battery. Okay. So when you stop in the car and using the battery, and then start in the car starts again and charges. Is the same thing you're not gonna lose um, your battery capacity or anything like that so it's, it's good for your battery the starter they're, they're heavy duty that's what they're there for nothing is gonna happen to it so uh, I'm not for it I'm on not against it I don't think it's doing anything wrong to your car anything bad for your car so it's all myths Everything is just a myth. The only bad thing that it does is it's a little annoying. That's the only thing. If you want to save gas, this is not the way to save gas either. Maybe a little bit, just a tiny thing of a tiny bit of, of gas is being saved. If you have the car standing for more than seven seconds, the more it stands, the better. Of course, if you just if you pull over to to wait for somebody, then you know, that long period of time might be might be good to save some some gas but otherwise if you want to save gas you just have to be easy on the gas pedal and drive uh, below 70 and um, that's the way to save gas if you will drive slow if you're easy on the gas then you'll save gas but if not you don't really have to worry about saving gas with the simple stop and start because it's it's very minimum what you save but what the, the system is really there is for emissions as i said emissions is the main reason for it and car manufacturers have to meet the data that um, the government wants okay so if they have to meet certain emissions they go as much as possible and that's one of the one of the pieces that complete that and they they meet that data so um otherwise it doesn't if you have problems with the stop and start it might be your your bad one of your batteries these cars which has two batteries many cars have two batteries so you have to check those and if you already replace your batteries um, maybe you didn't register the battery you have to do also the battery registration okay and uh, and that'll be it but uh, do not unplug anything this is the only way to do it this is the right way to do it if you are going to do it all right so See you on the next video please like if you're not subscribed for my to my videos yet to my channel please subscribe and uh, like as many videos as you can it helps a lot thank you and take care